Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be taking our first look at the final release version of the Stampede, which the Stampede is a fully console-friendly version of the new full-size Ford Bronco. Also, I do want to mention real quick that the map we are going to be on in this video is Cascade Springs by RockRunner, and that map is actually one that is very, very new, and I really, before this video, haven't had a chance to explore it much at all. So you guys are going to be getting not only a full tour of this vehicle, but you're also going to be getting my very first impressions of this map. So let's go ahead and get into the garage and see what we can do to it. We've already got some bumpers and some doors on it, and of course the little uh, the little fender flares. But we're going to go a lot further with the build on this thing. Now let's get it on into the garage, and from there we're going to start the full build. Now first up we have the engine options. Now we have one engine specifically. 2.7 liter V6. This is, of course, the twin turbo EcoBoost V6 engine. And then gearbox wise, we have the factory eight speed auto. We also have the mud mode. And then we also have the rock mode. Um, rock crawling mode is going to be your slow trailing setup. And mud mode is going to be more for like powering through things. The beauty of the mud mode is the fact that it also has the low ranges that you can use in trail riding and crawling situations with a little bit more wheel speed if you ever wanted to use it. Now, in terms of suspension, you've got the normal ride, the Squatch, and the Squatch Active. The Squatch Active is definitely the one we're going to be going with. Now, you start on a 33, and you can go all the way up to a 38. Now, you're going to you're gonna be starting off on a little bit of a kind of like, you know, something similar to a BFG KO2. But from there, you have a bunch more tire options that Dubs has put into this thing. You even have agricultural tires if you plan on taking this thing in some properly deep and sketchy mud. Now, I definitely want to make sure that we run the 38s, but as we go through the tire list, I mean, you guys can see that there's so many different options, no matter what kind of vibe you want to go with with your build, or really no matter what type of tire you want to go with. Now, I'm thinking we'll probably go with something along the lines of I kind of like the look of the boggers but I also like the look of the BFG MTs now ooh, we could even go with like an old school like kind of you know the, that iconic mud grappler style as well let's see if we can find oh do the Baja claws the Baja claws look so sick these BFG MTs look awesome though properly classic rock crawling compound as well now let's see drag winch and diff lock, let's go ahead and throw the front lockers in as well. You could do a drop hitch on the back if you plan on towing scout trailers around with this thing, which is really, really nice. The factory front doors are removable if you prefer to go that route. Fender guards are going to be your fender flares. Factory front bumper, we're going to be removing, and we're going to be replacing it with a off-road front bumper. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. It's also got a built-in winch with tow hooks as well. Now, here's the interesting thing about the top. The top actually is removable and, of course, installable in sections. So you can do the rear, and then you can do the front right and the front left, and they are all independent of each other, which I really, really like. Now, factory rear bumper, we're definitely removing that and doing the off-road rear bumper for a little bit more clearance rock sliders for sure and you could also do a roof rack uh, that goes onto the hard top once you've put all of the pieces of the hard top in place and actually you know what I think we're gonna go ahead and put the the put the hard top together and we'll throw the roof rack on it just so you guys can get a full idea of what this thing looks like with all of the options on it now rack add-ons there's a lot up here. You've got the ammo cans, you've got Dub's cooler, you've got gas cans, rack straps, long shovel, the tent, you've got TC's toolbox. It's all up there. It's literally all up there. So let's see what we want to run in terms of, mm, we'll run this wheel and we'll run a BFG KO2 spare. This is where things get properly interesting as well. Now you can put the dash mount bar up there and then you can throw a like literally a phone, an iPhone up on the dash and a GoPro camera up on the dash. Now you guys can't really see them all that well right now because of the camera angle, but I promise that when we get outside, you'll see them a lot more clearly. Now let's go ahead and throw the EG snorkel on there. Cool thing about this is I believe that Dubs is the only one to have this snorkel on any Bronco mod in any game at the present moment in time. Now window add-ons, you can throw the windows in there, but we're not going to because we obviously don't have the door frame. Um, you can also put the front stampede badge on there, which I love and these are the wheels that are going to be Oh, yeah, no these wheels right here. God. I love those things. They look so good now 
this sort of deeper orangey yellow I really like, but in terms of factory colors, you've got quite a few good ones. I really like this kind of bluish gray. I like the deep blue. I like the dark green. I like the tan. I like both of the reds, and I like this color as well. There's really no bad looking colors on this entire rig, and I think the blue really sets it off like super, super well. So let's see if we can throw maybe the Bobbledar up there on the dash, and now we've got a fully built Bronco ready to go and have some fun on the trails. Now, this thing is definitely something that I would encourage you guys to use the interior view on, because look at this. You have a dash-mounted iPhone and a dash-mounted GoPro. I mean, what other vehicles are going to give you those? All right, let's also go ahead and run the radar real quick. And the reason I'm running the radar is because I want to see where everything on this map... Ooh, God, this is like just a massive trail network, isn't it? Like a properly massive trail network. Let's fire this thing up. Dude, it's so cool. Just like setting off in this thing in the interior cam with like the hard top on but the doors off. It really does give you such an incredibly realistic vibe. I don't even know which way I want to go because they both look really, really fun. All right, let's make our way on out. Not bad. Whoa. All right, apparently I got into the power a little bit early on that one. All right, which way are we going? Right or left? I have no clue. I don't know which way is more challenging. I don't know which way is more interesting. I've never been here before. So we're going right. Seems fair enough to me. This is definitely a map that already, right off the bat, is giving me so many, like, Mud Runner vibes. Now, that makes complete and total sense, though, because with it being made by Rock Runner, I mean, Rock Runner has been around for a very long time, and it was huge in the Mud Runner days, and this map definitely shows some of that classic Mud Runner style. Now, let me check and see. So, to the right looks a little bit, little bit more rutted, and to the left looks a little bit more like... A little bit more almost like we're going through a big mud pit. I think I might want to try kind of the more rutted out one to the right. Because while this thing can get through mud, I have a feeling that it's a little bit more set up as a trail rig than a mud rig. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't go in the mud with it. Like, I mean, you could go in the mud with it and have a blast. But, ooh, okay, all right, I'm feeling this. Bro, this is like, this is like some totally realistic trail riding stuff right here. Especially if you put it in interior view, it legitimately looks like a trail that I've been down in real life. That's so cool! That's, like, legitimately so freaking cool. And with all of the, like, all of the trees and the grass and the flowers just right near the trail, it gives it a very believable feel and vibe. I mean, and I know that some people may prefer a all-round test, like, on a testing ground map, but at the end of the day, I feel like this is the kind of environment that this vehicle is going to be used in more than, like, more than most other environments, and I really felt like this map gave us an incredible opportunity to test this thing in an environment that it really feels at home in. What are we looking at on this next section of trail? God, this is like, whoa, if you're not careful, you could flip over right there. Like, genuinely, if you're not careful, you could go into a full-on rollover. I, o I was only able to minorly power out of it, but, like, easy up and over. Come on. Not bad. Not bad. Bro, this thing hangs a tire in the air like nobody's business. But the thing is, it's so incredibly composed and balanced about doing it. It's not, you know, it's not worrisome at all when it hangs a tire in the air. It's, like, still super balanced. Apparently, I need to slow right the heck down because that rut was way deeper than I had ever thought it was going to be. Let me see what's coming up around the next bend. I have a feeling, ooh, it's getting a little bit muddy up here. All right. I'm digging that. Let's ease it on down through here. All right, let's see what this looks like in first person view. Oh, dude, that's so believable. That's so legitimately, like, believable and realistic looking. I love the way this thing looks going through the mud. Oh, easy. Oh, I had the lockers on. I didn't think I had the lockers on. It didn't feel like I did. Oh, hanging a rear tire back there. At least I was for a second. I was like, ooh, that's a little sketchy, don't you think? Oh, this mud pit is, like, properly deep. I'm going to give it some wheel speed for this. Let's go! Dude, let's freaking go. This thing is awesome. This thing is absolutely freaking amazing. I love it. I love it so much. 
And the, like, the fact that I've been able to follow the development process of this mod from, like, nearly start to finish has been an absolutely incredible process to watch. Dubs is so detail-oriented in so many interesting little ways, and to see all of those ways really come to life here in the Stampede is, like, one of the coolest things. It really, really is. Yo, that thing is, like, it is getting down when it's in the mud. God, that's awesome. Now, granted, I don't really care for the lighting in that photo, but, I mean, it's still a really, really sick photo. We need to take some proper photos of this thing, because I feel like, you know, half the time when you go out, like, overlanding or, like, trail riding, it's like, what do you do half the time? You take photos on your phone. So, like, you know, <laughs> we're only making it more realistic and more believable by doing that. There we go. Easy. Whoa. <laughs> It's, like, super off-camber, but it doesn't look or feel like it half the time. Like, until you're in it, you know what I mean? And then you're in, like, one of these scenarios or situations. Oh, there's that flex-out shot. Oh, dude, that looks so good. That is absolutely stuffed in the back. Look at that tire. Bro, that is, like, genuinely fully stuffed in terms of how, like, how far up into the fender that tire is. That's awesome. Little bit further down this trail now, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and run the radar again. And before we go any further, I am gonna actually quickly teleport back to the garage so we can explore a couple of other trails while we're out here, just so we don't spend all of our time on one single trail. Now, this has miles and miles and miles of trail, and I'm sure it would take, you know, a long time to explore all of it. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and actually come right back here to the garage, and I may go... Let's see, we'll go left out of here, but this time we'll go left again instead of going right because it looks pretty interesting up here. It looks pretty uh, inviting in terms of what kind of obstacles we might have in store for us. It's a little bit rockier. There's also a bridge up there. That's going to be interesting. I'm in low plus right now. No diff lock. Don't really need the diff lock just yet, but okay. All right. Let's get on after it. Not bad. It is just absolutely, like, ripping through here. Doesn't even need the lockers yet. It only really needs the lockers when things get, like, properly gnarly. But what a great-looking rig. Like, what a genuinely amazing-looking rig. Oh, my God. I absolutely adore this thing. And this right here is where it feels right at home. That realistic trail riding, you know, crawling, exploring, scouting. That's what this thing was genuinely built for. And I cannot say enough good things about how incredible of a job Dubs did bringing this vehicle to life. Especially in terms of it being fully console friendly and frankly pretty low RAM usage for what it is. I think that you guys, no matter what system you're on, are going to get an absolutely incredible time out of using this, re like, this vehicle. Now, once again, that applies to really anything that you want to do with it, whether that be stuff like this, or campaign scouting, or, you know, you want to take it rock crawling, you want to take it mudding, I mean, you want to use it in an RP. It is genuinely all up to you, and at the end of the day, that really is the beauty of a rig like this, because it can be used in just about whatever scenario you want, and it can, it can adapt to any and all of those scenarios very, very successfully, I think. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look at this brand new console-friendly Bronco, aka the Stampede, please do let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.